K8 Sports is on the road in New Orleans. Talking season is in full swing in college football. The Sun Belt will be in the spotlight starting Tuesday. That's right, Chris. Excited to be here in New Orleans. Arkansas State in the West Division will take center stage on day one. Head coach Butch Jones, safety Justin Parks, and linebacker Malik Straker will be up on stage for the Red Wolves. The pack hits the stage at the downtown Sheridan Tuesday at 11 a.m. You can watch it on ESPN+. A state will also spend time on Radio Row, podcast, and of course, chat with us. We'll have live reports Tuesday on midday, 5 o'clock and 6 o'clock. Plus, there's plenty of coverage on KAIT8.com and the K8 News app. Dominic Zavada adds another accomplishment to his Arkansas State resume. He landed on the preseason all Sun Belt team today. The Arizona native made 17 of 18 field goals last season, including a 56 yarder. Zavada made a state history in 2022 by landing on five freshman all American teams. The Red Wolves got some bulletin board material today. Arkansas State picked to finish sixth in the West in the Sun Belt preseason coaches poll. No first place vote for Butch Jones's pack. Here's a look at the coaches poll. Reigning conference champion Troy picked to repeat in the West. James Madison won the East last year but didn't play in the Sun Belt title game because of NCAA FCS to FBS transition rules. We had about seven hours on the road to New Orleans to try to predict what's going to happen in a very unpredictable Sun Belt. Logan, how do you think A-State stacks up in the West? Yeah, seven hours in the car, and to be honest, still have no idea how this order is going to go. That's how unpredictable the West is. Hey, you compared it to the SEC West, where it feels like the top two teams are set. We just don't know the order. It's between Troy and South Alabama. Well, we differ a little bit on that. You have Troy, I have South Alabama, but three through seven is a toss-up. Who knows? We both have Arkansas State at number four, though. That is one point we agree agree on. Of course, the coaches poll have them at six, but this is a team that is going to take a step forward in 2023, at least on paper with the roster, especially when you look at the defense. But the question mark is going to be the offense and especially the schedule. The Sun Belt as a whole has gotten a lot tougher, so very hard to predict where the Red Wolves will finish, but at least we agree on something. The Red Wolves finishing yeah. at four. Flip side, a state schedule a lot more manageable than last year where it just seemed like it was never ending schedule of games. Then there was a bye week and then oh, what do you do now? But in this case, the schedule is a lot more manageable. I think offensively, of course, to me, the biggest question mark is who is going to throw the football. There's plenty of depth at wide receiver. You've got some depth there at running back, and you've got a whole lot of development going on the, the trenches. The big question is going to be, is it going to be JT Shroud or Jackson Daly getting the ball game number one at Oklahoma? Oh, by the way, yeah. Not an easy way to start the season, no less. That's right. Well, and you said it right there. Depth, the key word for this team. And we looked this up on the car ride over here. If games last year ended after three quarters, Arkansas State would have gone bowling. They would have gone six and six. And big reason why those fourth quarter letdowns happen were, as Butch Jones says it, lack of competitive depth. So we'll see if the Red Wolves have that. But as you mentioned, very tough start to the season at Oklahoma. Well, Chris, we could sit here and talk preseason poll for hours and all the possibilities, but also some talking points on the field as well. We'll have you covered for Arkansas State at Sunbelt Media Days. We're K8 Sports in New Orleans.